Welcome everyone. Carla from uh, Casey's One Stop Boutique in Sunnyside City, Utah. Today I'm going to do uh, a kit from AC Inspired Reese. Susan, uh, I got this from Susan and it's a beautiful kit but I want to show you that you don't have to use everything in your kit or you can use more things in your kit. As we've got this cute little sign it says uh, when life gives you lemons make something sweet. Now this uh, Robin's wreath remade this so that's in her, side, her kit. She had this beautiful mesh and this beautiful mesh but I've decided I want to use these on something else because I, I love both of these. So I'm going to set them aside. Then we have uh, all these beautiful ribbons. This one comes with it. This one comes with it. And this matches the sign. This one comes with it. And this one comes with it. And she, it. There's about five yards of each one in the kit and of course you get your uh, zip ties and your ring so um, I love this kit so I'm going I'm recording it because I hurt my back this last week painting and all this other fun stuff that I've been doing but uh, I'm gonna set this aside and uh, oh and then we had three lemons that come with it and so I made the lemons into a pick uh, so the when you buy kits you can just make them your own and it's just uh, it's just fun stuff to buy kits so what I've done and I oh and I got a new little machine uh, to stop fraying so I wanted to try that so I've already done that with with uh, this and it just seals the edge of it kind of stinks a little bit but uh, now all of these and I'll show you I left one to show you how to how to do it and uh, this is one of the cheaper ones from um, Amazon but I was I watched Lori with uh, Unique in the Creek and she said that she had bought she had tried all these different ones and the one that she liked best was the cheapest one so I thought I would try it just to see uh, how it goes so I'm going to uh, actually I'm going to use the green that came in the kit and then I'm going to use uh, ombre greens and yellows and then I'm going to use this. Let me show you how fun this is. It only takes a few minutes to uh, warm up. Of course, I better see if it's plugged in. Yep, it's plugged in. And everybody wants to get away from the fraying business, you know. So, uh, and this one, it, I didn't buy it quite big enough. This is, uh, I thought I bought the 21 inch, but I didn't. It looks like it's only the, it's about, oh, nine inches is all. So, I didn't do very good there. 
So if I like it, I'll I'll just go ahead and uh, buy me a new one. But what you do is just put this in the, here like this. And I don't know whether it's warm enough yet. And it does, it is a little stinky, but it works. So it just uh, kind of fuses that edge together. So I'm going to do nine of these. I've already cut nine of the other one in 30 inch lengths. So. Let me just, I don't know whether I'll like, it seems like it's a lot of uh, extra business, but I'm going to do one just to make sure I like it or I don't. So. I'll need nine of these at 30 inches, about 30 inches, I, I'm not measuring it. See, it does smoke a little bit, so, and it stinks a little bit, too. <laughs> so I don't know whether I like that too much. But it does do a good job on uh, fusing that together. What I've done so far is uh, cut the other roll in 30 inch lengths, cut nine of them, and cut nine of this. I've cut my ribbons uh, two at 12 inch and uh, one at 14 inches and one at uh, 11 inches. And Susan still has these in her shop, her Etsy store, if you want to get one of them. Not really that bad, but if you if you don't if you don't like smelly stuff, this is not a good idea. And then I've cut yellow uh, fabric mesh in ten inches. Because I want a little bit more yellow in this one. I think I got one more here. And see it does it does a pretty nice job of uh, sealing that so nine of them and like I say it does stink a little bit okay so I, I started this just to see if I would like it looking like this and I think I do so what I'm gonna do is just roll these up couple times and go on this edge. Like I said, I've, I've hurt my back, so 
I wanted to record this so I can take breaks in between put the heat on. <laughs> it's, you know what, to get old. And I'm just going to uh, alternate these two colors. green border mesh and the ombre mesh and then the fabric mesh then I put that in the middle of this one So I, I like how that looks together. But I've got three of my rooms done. And so it's, I'm doing my spring cleaning in June. That was just one of the ones that I hadn't trimmed off. So I like to roll it up. two or three times to make that curl on the edge. And do the same on the other side. green looks. I love this border mesh. I'm not going to put the yellow in every one either. So I'll just do that as I go so I can uh, that's what happens when we create you know not turn out we will have to start over <laughs> who knows like I said Susan still has these in her shop I think she has a couple left And they're pretty reasonable priced too. I'm just going to do this all the way around. Just roll it up. Go up the middle. So you have this nice little ruffle. There's eight on top and ten on the bottom. Just roll it a couple, two or three times, make a nice roll. Do the same on the other side, make a nice roll. And just walk up the middle. Oops. I like this ombre. It's pretty.
So we have four of each color. Four border and four ombre. And that's how the top looks. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and uh, put in the rest on the bottom. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all of it on here. And what I'm doing with the little splash of yellow is just walking it up like little butterfly, making sure it's right in half. Put that on. And I just want this splash of yellow just on the outside. So now it just kind of looks, so we have a little bit more of a lemon look in there. Kind of looks like a sunflower, actually. I have an extra couple. Maybe I'll just put these opposite side of what the sign's going to go on. maybe I'll put the lemons on top of this. So we got that all together. Just kind of lift your ruffles up. Put them wherever you want them to go. So it looks like that. See, and that, they, them kind of look like uh, sunflowers with a mouth around like that. So now I've got, I'm going to do these four and one. And these four in the other. I'll just alternate them around. Like I said, I've cut them in all different sizes. The, the uh, main one is 14 inches. So I'm just holding them in half, going up the middle. So they kind of just um, lay right at the bottom and straight out. See with that different uh, lengths in there? I just thought that would be kind of cool. Doesn't that look neat the way that ends up? All different lengths. Something new. Gotta try new stuff. So I'll put these four in. I might put some uh, tubing in it, I'm not sure. We'll see how it looks.
just gives it a different look with them all different lengths like that. I don't know whether you can see. Okay, it begins. I'm recording. I'll just stop it here so you don't have to watch the whole thing. I'll be back. bottom done and I'm just going to do the top same exact way take your ribbons a new community that's fab fine community just a place where you can show off your creations and what have you so there you go look how pretty that is so everywhere is something all them dimensions in there to do is um, start out with the wire. Of course you don't have to do this. I just like to do it with the wire. Okay, I found it. I like to get a couple yards and then uh, double it. do is I make a little loop at the end of each side where it's just a little loop like that and twist that wire around there so we still have a loop and then I 
do the same with the other side. Let me just stick that. I like to do mine with my hand, so I just kind of use this easy bow to make her to just hold it. So I just put it together and I measure out. Let's see, we'll do 12 inches. So that's a six inch loop. Twist it. Measure out 12 inches. Come up from underneath and then just in there behind that twist it measure 12 inches just stuff it in behind that last loop twist it measure 12 inches In there. Just put it down. You take your wire. these extra long because I don't know how I want it to look when I get it on there. So. Just gather it. This one I'll make 11 inches. Just tuck it behind there, twist it. Tuck it behind there, twist it. Looks like I only have enough for three loops on this one. That's okay. Twist it. Dovetail, ducktail, whatever you call it, chevron.
second. also. Just do three of this, three loops of this one. smash it down and get some of that slack out of there. over the top of the main ruffle. Okay, so on the sign I just put on a couple cable ties, cable mounts, I mean, I'm going to attach this, let's see, kind of want it just it 
off that tie. I'm just going to go right straight through the mesh down to the ring. And I need one more cable mount. Well, that looks pretty just like that. I don't know whether I'm going to put this, the lemons on there. Let's see what that looks like. Over the edge there. I have to get rid of some of these tails though. They're a little bit long. That's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice kit. Like I said, you can buy it. She, I think she still might, may have a couple in her shop. AC inspired Reese. Okay, well, thanks for watching, stopping by today. And thanks for sharing and all the good things that you guys do. You're awesome. I think I'm gonna look at these tails a little bit before I cut them off. I might want to just roll them. I don't know yet. But there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, you guys, thanks for stopping in at the One Stop Boutique. Uh, you can find me on Etsy, the One Stop Boutique US, um, my YouTube station, channel, Facebook, that is beautiful. Thanks for making such a beautiful kit. 
Miss Susan. Little Miss.